Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Ryan, and today I have another tutorial about the vocoder. Now, earlier this year, I uploaded a video talking about how to both set up and use a vocoder, so what I'd like to do this time is just talk a little bit about how to get the best sound out of your vocoder. So, as an example, what I've got here is a recreation slash cover that I'm working on of Daft Punk's Doing It Right. Um, now, this song in particular has three different parts for the vocoder. It has a low, mid, and high part. And of course, for the source audio or the source vocal takes, I recorded three separate parts, uh, low, mid, and high, to uh, match the three parts for the vocoder. And I'll explain a little, about, um, a little bit more about that later on in this video. So to start things off, uh, let me just go ahead and play some of the parts just so you can hear what, hear what they sound like. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and will feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. Okay, now we got the uh, mids here. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and will feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. And now the highs. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. Okay, um, so you might notice that my version's a little bit faster than the original, but that's okay. All right, so uh, the first thing I guess I'll talk about is the source audio. So as I said earlier, I have three separate parts. I have a low, mid, and a high part. And the reason why I have three separate parts is to match, as I said, the three um, parts for the vocoder, uh, the low, mids, and highs. Now, when I first came up with the idea of how I wanted things to sound, I just did one vocal take and I used the one source of audio for all three vocal parts. But I found that it didn't really sound that thick or rich or full or anything. And I wanted to have three separate portions of audio to match each, each part. And let me show you uh, why I did that. So if I go ahead and take the high vocoder part here, um, I'll play you how it sounds using the high source audio. And then I'll play the lower source audio, and you can see how that affects the overall sound. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Now this is a low sound here. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. So once I um, experimented just a bit with how each source audio affected the vocoder part, I was really able to fine tune exactly how I wanted things to sound. So if it was, so if one part was sounding a bit too dull or a bit too bright, then I would just use a different source um, audio, or I would change the way that that I that I sung it. Um, so now. Uh, Let's get back to the source audio itself. I'll go ahead and play these and uh, Just as a disclaimer here or a warning, I guess uh, I'm really not a singer by any stretch of the um, imagination um, But I really wasn't trying to sing these parts here. I was more I was a lot more focused on trying to get my voice to stay within um, a certain range so so for the low parts I didn't want to sing too high or or too too low or anything. I just wanted to sing within a nice little area. Same thing for the mid part and same thing for the f or for the high. Uh, so let's just go ahead and play these now. 
doing it right. Everybody will be dancing and will feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. Now for the mid. Doing it right. Everybody will be dancing and will feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. Do okay, we're almost there. And now we got the high. Doing it right. Everybody will be dancing and will feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. And uh, of course, I had to sing. I did multiple takes to get the best take that I could. And uh, the most important thing here is if you have um, a vocoder, which is using multiple parts and multiple sources of audio, the number one thing that I would highly suggest you do is to get your vocals to sound as tight as possible. Because if you're trying to sing in your plosives, uh, being your P's, your D's, your T's, if those don't match up, then the overall sound from your from your vocoder is going to be very sloppy and it's just going to sound, it's, it's just not going to sound good. So you have to really, really focus on trying to get everything nice and tight. And of course, with today's modern technology, um, we can just go into flex mode. So you want to sing as best you can, obviously. And then you can just go through and use flex mode to... Uh, you know, move move things around and get them to be as tight as they are. So if you got, you know, a, one certain part that isn't lining up, then you can just go ahead, use flex mode, and there you go. Everything's nice and in time. So I find that that's very, very helpful. And again, I must stress, you have to have tight vocals for all, all your parts. Otherwise, your vocoder is going to sound really, really messy. Now let me go ahead and play all three just so you can hear, I guess, how that sounds. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and will feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and will feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. Uh, yeah. So. Now let's see, uh, let's talk about the post-processing uh, that I did on each part. So we've got the two low parts. We have kind of um, a bass part and then just a low part by itself. And really all that's going on here, let's go ahead and solo the bass part here, is uh, just a low pass filter. So um, it sounds like this. Right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody. So you can see I'm using for the bass part. I don't really need any of the extra high frequencies, so I just cut all that stuff um, away. And uh, both these parts are based off of the lower vocal. Now here is just the low vocal by itself. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling all right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. And all I did here really is just cut away the sub frequencies, um, a bit of the mids and the higher frequencies here. Um, I also am using the uh, the Waves Pulg Tech or Puig Tech EQ. I don't really know how you say it, but it just kind of gives it that that warm analog uh, sound and I'm just doing a slight boost at about uh, 100 down there so <clears throat> so there's not a whole lot going on in each of these here uh, now for the mids and I got two for each and two each for the high I'll explain why I have that in just a second here so um, again there's just an EQ on here uh, cutting away the lows uh, there's a dip in the mids just to get rid of those muddy frequencies and again cutting a lot of the high stuff out of there. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and will feeling it right. And uh, the same thing as you can see uh, for the vocoder mid too. Now why I have two of these is if I open up the orange vocoder here, uh, the sound mode here I'm choosing MR third order for the first one and for the other mid. Uh, I'm using the analog emulation uh, one. So you got a few modes that you can choose from. And pretty much all that this does is the first one, you can more easily hear what I'm saying 
as opposed to vocoder mid 2, it's more of um, a synthesizer sound. So let me go ahead and play these for you. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we'll feeling it right, everybody will be dancing and Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right, everybody will be dancing and we're doing it. So all I did is I chose those two sounds. I wanted you to still be able to hear what it was I was actually saying, and then you just get a nice blend of those two. So you can just use use your fader and blend those to taste. Uh, and then for the highs, pretty much the same thing. You'll have one that uh, you can easily hear more and more of a synthesized one. And the EQ on these, again, we're cutting out a lot of the lows, um, a dip in the mids to get rid of any of those muddy frequencies. And there was a lot of buzz, uh, especially on some of the, um, you know, the S's and like other other sounds like that. So I cut, so I cut a lot of that stuff out of there as well too. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I did for those. Um, that's pretty much all I can think of at this point. Uh, oh yeah, so for all these, save for the bass uh, track here. These are all being sent to bus 2 and on all of these. <clears throat> Uh, I'm just doing a little bit of uh, excitement using Ozone 5 here, so I'm just using it mid-side. We got a bit of the um, lower mids and the, I guess, the higher mids here. And then on the sides, I'm treating a bit more of the highs, um, just because they're out, out, out in the sides. So I just want to have a bit more uh, excitement on the uh, wider parts. And then, of course, I'm just playing around with the stereo image, just making everything a little bit wider. And that's all that's going on there. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or feedback, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. Just send me a message or, of course, leave a comment. And I hope you found this video helpful. And, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.